Hello everyone, Retro Robbie here with another Penny Box break. So I was able to get another box. And this one's a different one. I usually don't get the ones with the holes in it from uh, LF String and Stuns. So I can see through there, it is circulated. So we don't have to worry about them being brand new. So I'm gonna rip right into this. Um, you know what we're gonna look for? We're gonna look for those weedies. We're gonna look for the varieties. We're gonna look for the airs. You know what, we're gonna find it. So let's break this open. I haven't received one of these in a very long time. I even before I started videotaping these. It's been that long. And there it is. I am not seeing anything good on the top, but that doesn't mean anything. We're going to start right there on row one. So I will bring you in once I see something. We will be right back. All right, roll five. And we got our first uh, hit here. We got a Canadian there. And then I, when I was laying them out, I did find a 1969S. Now, unfortunately, it does not have the DDO, so, but still 1969S, find. And let's look at this Canadian here. It is 1974. It is a 1974 Canadian. It, as you know, it's 98% copper, so our first Canadian on the board. Uh, we got a 1969S on the board, so two little finds there, and we will keep on searching. All right, roll number seven, and we have not one, but two Wheaties in this roll, so let's pull them out. This one, I started searching through, so about, it was about the fifth or sixth one, and, and we got a 1957D there. So it's worn, used, and abused. It's circulated, but it is still on a fine 1957D. And then again, towards the end, when I started laying them out and started kind of looking through them here, I found a 1958D. So that one has a little luster left on it. So we got one 1957 that's used and abused and a pretty nice 1958D. So two Wheaties and roll number seven. So a decent start here. And uh, I'll keep searching and bring you on the next find. All right, we're still on roll seven and I missed it. And I didn't search this good enough because right there, Sticking upward about about like eight or nine down, and it is a 1944 Philadelphia Weedy, and yeah, it's it's been around, that's for sure. Definitely used and circulated, but still, our first find in the 40s, our third, there's three Weedies in this roll, so that is quite amazing. And I'm just going to go through here, 68D. 77 there's quite a bit of copper in here too so i'm very happy about that as you know and there's some in decent shape i mean there's a look at that 78 d that is an au condition right there so wow that's another little find there i will pull that aside go against my album here but i don't see anything else there's 73 but two 73s but um three wheaties in this roll that's amazing um I think that might be a record for me uh, to have three Wheaties in a row. Wish I would have caught that one while I was going through, but I will bring you back in on the next find. We are on roll 10, and I missed it again when I laid them out, but there is another Wheatie right there. That one's facing up, and it is a 1952D. I'm just going to verify that because I didn't look under the scope, and it is 1952D. So that is our fourth uh, Wheat Penny in the box. So fourth penny out of 10 rolls is pretty good we're on a good roll going here and i will bring you in on the next find all right roll 22 and it was kind of cold for a while but we finally got a find actually there's a couple little things in here so we'll go through it here the first one is the first big find there when i laid it out it kind of exploded on me but right there is a 1955 d uh wheat penny so there it is 1955 d that is my fifth weedy that we found. And then there's also was some small finds here. So uh, I, there were a couple 59s. So um, as you know, they're transitional years. So there's a 59D. There's the first one. And then there was a second 59D. And where did I see that? I think it's right here. 
Yep, 59D. So there was two 59Ds in this one. Uh, so those count towards points. So those are two smaller finds, but the bigger find there is the 1955D. And I don't see anything else. There's some good coppers in here. But other than that, um, hopefully this box will start to heat up here soon. Like I said, it's been kind of quiet for a while. So we'll bring you in here soon. Uh, we'll open one live up and see what we get. And until then, we'll bring you in the next find. We are on roll 24 here, and I did not see that when I laid the rolls, but it is right there facing up, and it is a 1957 Wheat Scent, so very nice. That is Wheat Scent number six on the back, so we're on pace to get our average of 10 Wheaties, so I don't see anything else here, and I will bring you in on the 25th roll. We'll open that one live since uh, we're starting to see some Wheaties again. All right, there is roll 25, and we will open this one up live. So let's do it. Let's hope we find something for you guys. I love doing this. I always like picking a couple rolls and seeing if there's anything good. And, hmm, seeing more newer ones and older, but let's just check it out here. So uh, pretty good break there. Wasn't too bad. Well, let's see here. There is a 1968D. Nice, 1978D. And see a nice, really nice, nice 1977. I'm gonna find a lot of 97s and, or 97s, uh, 77s and 78Ds in really good condition. So I'll be pulling those aside if they're that good. Uh, another 76, a 1980. Not seeing anything. 82. Oh, there's a weed set right there. We pulled one live. There we go. Boom. Count it. Let's see what it is. It's facing downwards. So let's see what we get here. Let's hope it's a good year. It is 1958D, the last year of the wheat penny. So another newer one, but 1958D, that's still a find. So nice. Always glad when you can pull one of those live. That is for sure. I love doing that. It just shows to you that there are they are in the rolls and you just got to find them. And I found one right there. So that one is a 75D. That one's a 65P, Philadelphia. And the last one is 1971D. So I'll go through this. If there's any variations, I will bring you in. If not, you'll see the next roll on the next find, and we'll be right back. All right, roll 26, and we're on a roll here, actually. Literally a roll of Wheaties. Um, laid this out, and I saw one. Where'd it go now? I lost it. Right there. It was facing upwards, so I was able to see it right away. It is a 1951 Philadelphia. Very nice. That is a uh, Wheat set number seven i believe and we're like i said we're starting to get in a roll here we're starting to find them roll 28 and i missed it initially when i laid it out but i found another weedy 1950 philadelphia right there it was showing on the top very nice we're finding more and more that is i believe wheat number nine so one more we got our 10 uh very nice i the couple here i don't think there's anything left no nope, there might be one copper one there yep but other than that uh we're still rolling through the wheaties here so i'm loving it so i will bring you out on the next find all right roll 35 and it's been a little while but we do have another find in this roll and i didn't see it at first so i started searching it and it popped up right there it was kind of hidden so we got right there a 1957 denver wheat scent so there we go Another 1957 Denver. That is my third one, actually. So most of the wee pennies I'm finding are, are from the 50s. I, as a matter of fact, um, eight, that's actually nine. Nine of my ten Wheaties are from the 50s. So um, most of them are coming up on the, you know, the newer end of the 50s. So, which is still fine. You know, still nothing wrong with finding a whole, ten Wheaties. You know, that's about an average I find in the box. So we hit our average here. And we still got 15 more to go, so I don't see anything else, so I will bring you in on the next find, so we'll be right back. All right, roll number 
40 here, and I did not see it when I laid it out, but because it was hidden underneath. Well, we got another weedy there. That is 1945 Philadelphia right there, showing on top. Very nice. It is our 11th one of the box, and uh, second one from the 40s. Uh, we got a 44 and a 45, so add that to the board. Uh, I don't see anything else. It was actually, I was kind of surprised because it was all shiny there, so most of it's been zinc, so uh, kind of interesting to find pop that up there right in the middle of it, but we found one, and uh, 10 left, and we will keep on searching. All right, we are in roll 45 here, and I did not see that when I laid it out, but we have another weedy on here, so... It is a, it's facing up, and it is a 1956 Denver. So another Weedy. That is Weedy number 11. So there it is. Getting a good amount of Weedies in this roll, or these rolls. So let me look here. I'm not seeing anything else. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Nope, that's an 82. So nope, nothing else. Um, I will bring you to the next find. All right, very next roll, roll 46, and that was sticking up. So we got another weedy here. So that's weedy number 12. So let's take a peek what that one is. Uh, let's turn it around here. It is a 1955D. So let me verify that. It looks like a 55D. It is a 55D. So that is, I think, our second 55D. So there's quite a bit of 50s in here. Uh, Quite a bit of newer Wheaties, but we will take them all day long. So that's Wheatie number 12, 1955 Denver. I'm not seeing anything else in here, so I will bring you in on the next find, and we'll be right back. All right, roll 50. We'll open this last one live like we always do. The last few rolls have been uneventful, so I'm hoping there will be something in this one. Kind of a little mini dry spell, but let's see what we can get here. Let's see if we can open anything live for you. Like I said, it's... Other than an occasional weedy here and there, it's been kind of dry, and this one kind of exploded on me, unfortunately. So let's just take a peek here if I see anything good. 77. Uh, that is a 90D. That ain't going to help us any. Um, man, I'm not seeing anything. 79, 78. Uh... I am not seeing a weedy in here or a Canadian or anything fun. So that's unfortunate. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There is a 2009. We did pull a 2009 out of this roll. So very nice. That is my 6 2009. That's out of Denver. There's the back end of that one. There's no uh, varieties on that one, unfortunately. But it's still another find. Uh, 2009 in this roll. I'm not seeing anything else. Let me search this. Um, I also have, of course, as you know, we got a little bit of copper, not as much as I usually get, but we will still count that and we will do a wrap up here, uh, in a few minutes. So I'll be right back. All right. Here's the wrap up of this box. I have to admit this box was not, uh, very stellar. It was probably the second worst box I've ever had. <laughs> to be honest with you, there just wasn't much here. I did get, you know, my average number of Wheaties, and but other than that, that is it. So let me go through what we got here. So we ended up with $4.35 worth of copper, and that's 17.4%. That's not that much. I usually average a little over 20, 20 to 22%. So this was a low copper box, uh, actually. And then another thing which was unusual, uh, I only got one Canadian. I think that's the first time I ever got one Canadian. I think the main reason why this box didn't produce as much is that it's a national box. NF String and Sons is usually a national box as opposed to the local box I get from, uh, you know, like from Brinks and all that. So I think because this is a national nationwide box, um, it probably produced a, especially a lot lower of Canadian pennies. But this one here is 1974. So we did get one copper penny out of the whole thing. Um, we did end up with six 2009s. Um, it's about usually what I get is about six or so. So that's an average amount of 2009s. No airs or varieties. Um, we ended up with two 1969 S's, no errors or varieties in that one. Uh, we did, however, get a bunch of 59s, and we got six of them. So 
Uh, that's a little more than I usually get. I usually get like two or three. So considering all, that's not too bad. So we got six of those. Um, we ended up with about five S's, and that actually 71 S is quite a stunner, actually. I got to look at the, my album for that one. But uh, there was there was five of those I keep aside. Um, as you know, they... The S's from 69 to 74 were less minted. Um, over here, are, you know, we, we had a run there where we had some really nice looking copper cents. So I'm going to, you know, go against my album here. I think there was like 13 cents. That's a zinc 82. So I still want to look at my album. That. That's in really good shape. So. And then finally, the the Wheaties, we ended up with 13 wheat cents. Uh the unfortunate part was they were all but two from the 50s. So as you can see, majority of them were like from 55 to 58, which is which is common common wheat scent. So um, we also ended up two from the 40s. The oldest being the 44 Philadelphia right there. So that was the oldest. Uh, 1944. So nothing significant. I would say this was a average to actually a little below average hunt, but. Anyways, they're still fun to do. I love doing it. Add more wheats to my collection, that's for sure. Add more copper to my collection, that's for sure as well. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, look for more as always. If you like what I'm doing, hey, subscribe to my channel here. It's growing, so I like the support from you people. So I appreciate it. Leave a comment, give it a thumbs up, and Retro Robbie saying, collect what you love.